because the full-time whistle is gone at the Santiago Bonabeo. Ancelotti has beaten Guardiola. Real Madrid have come back from the dead to beat Manchester City on another unbelievable night of drama and theatre in the Champions League this season. What a tournament it's been. But now we're down to the final two. A repeat of the 2018 decider. It is Real Madrid that will head on to meet Liverpool in the final on the 28th of May at the Stade de France. Full time in Madrid. It's finished Real 3, Manchester City 1. Real advance to the final. Oh, they've done it again. He's done it again, King Carlo. And it's happened again to Pep Guardiola in the Champions League. Another Champions League disaster. And this one, well, extraordinary. Almost 90 minutes had elapsed. They were heading for the final to face Liverpool in Paris on May 28th. Now look at them. Devastated. There will be inquest, perhaps, about the timekeeping uh, of the referee uh, in that extra time. There wasn't a hell of a lot, a hell of, a lot of football played in that second uh, period. Uh, inquests about a lot of things about that Manchester City performance and where it all went wrong. But for Real Madrid, Brian Kerr, just pure joy and celebration. Yeah, it was a dramatic turnaround. It looked like Ma Manchester City had it all under control coming into the last few minutes of the game. The manager, Pep Guardioli, put on Fernandino in the middle of the field to, to stifle the middle even further with uh, Gundogan and Rodri in there in a 4-3-3, taking the Bruyne off, and then Mar Mares was off the pitch as well. But they still had enough quality on the pitch to, to get a goal. I think the extra time was totally disrupted by Real Madrid, Messon and, uh, well, whether Militao may have had an injury. But I cannot understand how the referee, Mr. Assetto, the Italian, he played three minutes injury time and he didn't even play three minutes. He played two minutes, 50 seconds. For me, there was at least six minutes injury time in the second half. He played six minutes in the second half of the game, but the game was more disrupted in, in the second half extra time. But, you know, Manchester City conceded three goals. I said before the match, I thought City would score. And I thought that would be enough. It wasn't enough. Their own deficiencies caught them out. Yep. And, and I thought the Walker thing proved vital because um, Cancelo didn't do as well in the right back position. And, and certainly Zinchenko didn't do so well. That, that and that, that, yeah. that caused them problems. Uh, but in fairness to Angelotti, put Rodrigo on. I said he would. He got a great return from him. He scored two goals the weekend against Espinal. The first two goals the match, one far not in good form. There he is. He was the hero. He got the wasn't two, he? the two crucial goals in the match up until Benzema's penalty.